expected value, or, the mean, of a random variable, gives us the average of outcomes for that variable. For discrete random variables, it is computed by summing the products of outcomes, with their respective probabilities. In the continuous cases, we would take an integral. Let's find an expected value for rolling a fair dice. Each outcome has a probability of 1 sixth. We multiply these with the possible outcomes and sum up. As a result, we find, that if we roll a fair dice infinitely many times, the average value of the outcomes, will be 3.5. Variance, tells us how far, our values of outcomes spread out, from their expected value. Higher is the variance, less likely it is for an outcome to be close to the average, and vice versa. We can find the variance, using the formula on the slide. Let's continue with our example, and find the variance for a fair dice roll. We already know, that the expected value for a fair dice roll is 3.5, so we can readily substitute it in the formula. We also know, that the probability of every outcome is the same, and equals 1 sixth. We can move it outside of the summation. We can write out the summation, to find that the variance is equal to approximately 2.9. We can also find the standard deviation, by taking the square root of the variance. This measures the amount of variance. Covariance, measures the joint variability of random variables. The formula used for finding the covariance, looks like finding the mean, of the product of variances of two variables. However, unlike the actual formula of variance, we do not square the subtractions, meaning, that we can have negative values. In case we find, that the covariance results in a negative number, we can assert, that when one variable takes on higher values, another takes on relatively lower values, and vice versa. For positive covariance, we can assert that both variables, take on higher values, at the same time. If the absolute covariance is high, we can assert that variables often result in values far from their respective means. The covariance of a random vector, is given by its covariance matrix. Let's first examine the covariance matrix of a 2 by 2 matrix X, and then we can generalize. The rows, and columns, in the covariance matrix, give the covariance between the corresponding elements of its random vector. For example, in the second row of the first column, we have the covariance between the second, and the first element of the random vector. This means, that if the numbering of the column, and the row, is the same, we end up finding the covariance of a random variable with itself. Which, is essentially the variance of that random variable. In general, the covariance matrix, gives the covariances, among the elements of a random vector.